Hey guys, welcome back to another Dollar Tree recipes video. Today I went on a little bit of a shopping spree at the Dollar Tree and I picked up all of the things that you see in front of me. The goal is to turn all of the ingredients into a Chinese style takeout recipe at home, hopefully better than what you can get at an actual Chinese restaurant and a lot cheaper. So let's go ahead and go over everything I picked up today. I'm gonna to start from this side, work my way over. We're gonna start with some pantry essentials now for the purposes of calculating the cost of this recipe. I'm not gonna include the essentials because you probably already have those. That would be soy sauce, oil, and some sort of grated garlic or even garlic powder. Then we have chicken stock. We have a can of mixed vegetables. Now you can buy the bag of frozen mixed vegetables from the Dollar Tree, which you get a lot more for a lot cheaper. But I find that the quality of some of the frozen vegetables isn't quite there, particularly with their frozen mixed vegetables. The peas are not ripe. They're kind of hard. So I'm gonna try using the canned stuff. Uh, not the most economical choice, but I think it will impact the flavor of the dish. I also have a can of their luncheon meat, which is basically Spam, because we're gonna make some Spam fried rice. I have a carton of eggs. We have a package of yakisoba spicy chicken noodles, a package of their Dollar Tree pepper and onion stir fry, and then for protein, I picked these Tyson spicy chicken nuggets. I've got two packs of those. You can also use their canned chicken. You can use canned turkey. Um, if you have the Dollar Tree, uh, chicken tenders, those will work as well. Or you could pretty much just choose the Spam or even make it vegetarian and leave out the meat altogether. And then just as like a fun snack or maybe even an appetizer to serve along with this, I have these Wasabi Ranch uh, Snap Pea Snack Bag. Uh, this was just an extra little bonus that I bought and I thought it could work as you know a precursor to the meal. So that is everything that I purchased today. Let's go ahead and get started cooking. To my pot here, I've added about a tablespoon or so of vegetable oil. I'm just gonna let that heat up over medium heat. Once the oil's heated up, I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon, maybe even two teaspoons of garlic. I like a lot of garlic, I like a lot of flavor, so I tend to go a little bit heavier on the garlic. I know I've mentioned that before, but we're gonna fry this up in the oil just until it starts to be fragrant, maybe a minute or two. And to that, we're gonna add in our entire carton of chicken broth and let this mixture come to a boil while we work on the eggs. I'm gonna scramble three of these eggs for the egg drop soup and the rest of them we will use later on for the ramen. So I'm just gonna go and crack these into a bowl. We're gonna scramble them with some seasonings. I'm just gonna use salt and pepper. You can also add in some cayenne if you want a little bit of heat. And then I'm gonna run my egg mixture through a strainer just to make sure that we don't have any clumps or anything like that. I did also wanna add in a little bit of soy sauce to the broth, I forgot to do that earlier, so I'm gonna do that now. Just about, you know, one to two teaspoons or even up to a tablespoon, just to flavor the broth even a little bit more. This vegetable, why do I keep calling it vegetable stock? This chicken stock's pretty good on its own. And we have brought this back up to a simmer. So we are just about ready to add our egg. So with our pot and our whisk, we're gonna stir this and you're gonna stir it pretty quickly. Get like a little bit of a vortex going in there. And then slowly pour in your egg mixture. And that's pretty much the egg drop soup ready to go. I'm gonna set this aside on a burner over pretty low heat just to keep it hot until the rest of the food's ready to go. I totally forgot to mention rice in the list of ingredients earlier, so I did use some white rice out of my cabinet. I had plenty of it, so I didn't need to buy more from the Dollar Tree, but we're gonna start working on the egg fried rice, so or the Spam fried rice. So I'm gonna use the Dollar Tree luncheon meat, we're gonna use the canned vegetables, and I'm gonna take a couple of onions out of this pepper stir fry mix and we're going to make sure everything is nice and diced up for our fried rice. So 
funny story, I've never actually had Spam before, so this is my first time ever opening one of these. I mean, I think I have an idea of how to do it, but um, this, is, this is different for sure, but I think they use this key. Maybe, yep. Okay, and you just kind of twist. And then I think that this should just kind of pop out like that. Let me go grab a cutting board real quick. This is definitely one of the most interesting uh, proteins that I've ever worked with, but I do know that it is popular in a lot of cultures, uh, especially like Hawaiian, Filipino cultures, and things like that. So we're definitely gonna see how this turns out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finally dice this. Let's go ahead and get started on the fried rice. I've got a large pan here heated up over pretty high heat. You can see my oil there is smoking. I did use a pretty generous amount of oil, probably about two to three tablespoons. We're gonna start by frying our spam. When the spam is pretty brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in all of our vegetable mixture. And then I have my rice. This is one cup of rice that has been cooked and cooled, so it equates to about three cups once it's cooked. over to one side so I can scramble in that final egg. And to that I'm going to add one quarter cup of soy sauce. You can use pure soy sauce if you want. I've diluted mine down with a little bit of water. Once all your liquid is absorbed into your rice, you are pretty much done. And we're going to set this aside until we, so we can work on the noodles. Both of our side dishes are done. We have our soup made, we have our fried rice done. So now it's time to work on the main course, which is gonna be the noodle stir fry. Of course, I'm using this yakisoba spicy chicken noodle as a base. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we're not going to be making this like it's packaged to be made. We're going to separate out, well, we'll probably boil the vegetables in with the noodles just because these are dehydrated vegetables, so extra veggies. Um, we're gonna set aside the flavor packet. We're gonna set aside the noodles with the veggies for later. But for now, we're gonna make a little bit of a stir fry sauce. We're gonna be using the powdered packet, probably about half of this. We're using a bit of soy sauce and some brown sugar and a little bit of water. So let's get that prepped into my bowl here. I'm gonna add the seasoning packet. Like I said, I'm gonna start off by only using about half of it because I imagine it's gonna be a little bit salty. And we are adding soy sauce, so I don't want this to be too salty. To that, I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of water. We're gonna mix that together. Once that's all mixed up, we're gonna set it aside while we cook the noodles. For the noodle stir fry, I'm gonna take these spicy Tyson nuggets. I did get two packages of this. I'm gonna finally dice this to go in the stir fry. I know that some of you may think that this is a little bit strange of an ingredient, which I'm sure that it can be considered, but a lot of the chicken that you get at a Chinese restaurant is breaded and fried, and this is no different than that. I've got a small pot on my stove here with some water that I'm bringing to a boil. We're actually gonna just parboil the noodles and the vegetables. We're just gonna heat these up 
for about two to three minutes or so because they're gonna cook the rest of the way in the stir fry. So we just need to kind of soften them up and get them broken up and pliable. After a couple minutes, once the noodles are broken up, we're just gonna drain these and set these aside until we get working on the stir fry. Once again, I've got my pan heated up here. We're working over some high heat. My oil is pretty much smoking. I have my veggie mix here. This is the pepper and onion stir fry with some of that minced garlic. We're gonna go ahead and drop that in and let it uh, cook on high heat until all that moisture is evaporated off and it's got some brown color to it. You can hear the different sound once all the water has evaporated off. It'll start to sound more like fresh veggies. You won't really hear that, I don't know, wet sound, I guess you could say. And that's about the point we can start working on the rest of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our finely diced chicken nuggets. We're gonna let those start to cook and get hot. They're technically already cooked, but we need to heat them up. Everything's starting to get some good color on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in our noodles. And we're also gonna go ahead and add in our stir fry sauce that we prepped earlier. Give it a little stir, because the sugar probably settled to the bottom. And once everything is evaporated and everything looks like it's coated in this nice glossy glaze, we are all done with the stir fry and we can plate this up and eat. I am so thrilled with how this turned out and how much food I was able to make with a very limited amount of money. Everything all together, assuming that you already have soy sauce, um, vegetable oil, what else did I use? <laughs> Soy sauce, vegetable oil, assuming you have garlic and rice, everything all together only cost about $10 to prepare from the Dollar Tree. And I think it looks fantastic. It smells amazing. I do have my egg drop soup here, which didn't quite get the ribbons. It's not really quite, I've never made egg drop soup. To be fair, I've never even had egg drop soup. And I have technically already tasted this because I needed to check for seasonings. It's a pretty basic recipe, you know, eggs and chicken broth and all that, but everything else I have not tried yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a taste. I did um, grab a fork too. This is the fork that they use to put the noodles on the plates. So that's why it's dirty, but I grabbed a fork because you know, I am terrible with chopsticks. So let's go ahead and try everything. Let's actually start with these, um, Harvest Snaps Wasabi Ranch Green Pea Snacks. We're gonna start with these and see how these are. These were just from the Dollar Tree. They were at the cash register and I thought that they would go well with our takeout tonight. They kind of have the texture of veggie straws and actually the number one ingredient is green peas. So I'm not quite sure how they got this texture because it does seem like they're made with real, unless they form them. They probably grind the peas and then form them and fry them in some sort of capacity. But the ranch and wasabi flavor is interesting. They have a good crunch. It is kind of horseradishy, if you know that. A um, little ranchy. It's different, it's different. It's not bad, and I can see how it could definitely grow on you. Let's move on to the egg drop soup. Which, as I mentioned, I already tried this, so I know it's pretty good. It is a little on the salty side, but that's because you can't really buy reduced sodium chicken stock or reduced sodium soy sauce or anything like that at the Dollar Tree. So it's a little bit salty, but that's okay. You can always add a little bit of sugar if you wanted to offset that saltiness or even something spicy like some pepper flake or something would probably balance it out. So now let's try the Spam fried rice. 
just drop some on my hand there. That is really, really good. I kind of expected that to be too salty as well because of the spam and the canned vegetables, but mmm. Spam fried rice for the win. That one's really good. I'm gonna attempt to eat these with chopsticks. This is the I don't know what I'm gonna call this. I feel like it's like a spicy teriyaki noodle stir fry. And like I said, you guys know I am horrendous at eating with chopsticks. I can eat sushi with chopsticks, but that is about it. So here is the noodles. Mm. Guys, this is a total winning recipe. If you don't try anything else from my channel, try these teriyaki noodles. They are so good. And I'm sure you could even stretch them even further, make them cheaper if you use your standard ramen noodle pack versus the yakisoba noodles. But these are sweet, they're spicy, they're not overcooked in any sort of way. The, the chicken breading actually for the most part came off and kind of mixed in with the sauce and I think it thickened it up a little bit. So all that's left are these like little chicken nugget remnants. Which are so good. You can't even tell they're chicken nuggets. They're so good. Mm. Yes. Hands down. I'm super proud of how this turned out considering everything was from the Dollar Tree. I'm so proud that I'm gonna try to go downstairs and see if I can get my boyfriend to come up here for a taste test. Probably not on camera, kind of off to the side. I just wanna see his reaction to everything. So I will be right back. Okay. But I, you, I just want them to hear you. Okay. Um, Cause I know you don't wanna be on camera, right? Well, um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is the egg drop soup. Okay. I thought it was good, but I thought it was a little bit too salty. And I've never actually, yeah, I know. <laughs> so egg drop soup is basically like scrambled eggs cooked in chicken broth. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine what it tastes like, but. You want me to try it? Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. It's a little salty. Not your, not your thing? Not my okay. thing. All right. So then we've got, all right. So these are the um, wasabi ranch pea things. Mm, those are bad. Those are bad? That's those. Pretty interesting. All right, now you're actually my recipe. So that's the teriyaki noodle stir fry. Okay. Mm, that's actually really good. Yeah. So that's the one with the chicken nuggets in it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the spam fried rice. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, mm. not bad. <laughs> but the you, noodles are good. Noodles are good? Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought that those turned out really good. I've never had spam before this, so I didn't know what to expect with the spam fried rice, but I was actually really impressed with everything. The noodles? The noodles are good. Yeah. <laughs> you want some more? I have extra. I'll, I'll eat later. But. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And there you have it. You have my taste test. You have his taste test. Here is all the food that we made from the Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments down below if you try anything that I made today. And let me know how you liked it. So as always, I love and appreciate all of your comments and responses on my videos. I love making these videos so much. So I am excited for this new venture. As you can see, I have officially renamed my channel from Rebecca Lynn Vlogs to Cheap Eats. And it is my goal to continue to make these cooking videos that are geared towards budget-friendly recipes, not always necessarily from the Dollar Tree. I will be branching out and doing some other videos soon that will be more geared towards a regular lifestyle and grocery lifestyle. Although for some people, the Dollar Tree is 
their regular lifestyle. So this is more about accessibility of ingredients than it is about cost or anything like that. But I'm excited for this Cheap Eats venture and seeing where this all goes. So thank you guys so very much for your support and I will see you in my next video.